increasing. Main scanner. Intense gravitational forces, sir. Computer identification. Our velocity readings are off the clock. All sensor equipment malfunctional. internal base systems. Helena, you all right? Regina. Dr. Matthias? Yes, Commander. How are things down there? Nothing too serious. Getting back to normal. Get a medical crew to main mission. Alan, you all right? Yeah. Check with Reconnaissance and see if any of the eagles are damaged. All right. Stop her. 
Call technical session. I want emergency repair crew on standby. Come on. Check all sensors and scanners. Victor. What the hell hit us? I have no idea. I just know we're not where we ought to be. We've changed our position in space. And she's not responding to treatment? No. Shock, headaches, double vision. We all experience the same symptoms. And recovering, except Regina. Her condition seems to be deteriorating. Yeah, but her condition can be diagnosed, understood. What's happening to us out there in space is beyond explanation. Another solar system. Traveling. Some traveling, Professor. Billions of miles in a matter of seconds. Seconds? Maybe our senses can tell us something. Paul, how the repairs coming along? We're still working on them, sir. Well, the senses won't tell us how we got here. No. But they will tell us what kind of planets are out there. Regina. It's all right. I was up there again. Where? The two moons. Just take it easy. Everyone was there. Alan, the commander, everyone. It must have been a dream. Of course it was a dream. Yes. Because they're dead. Helen and the commander, they're dead. No, 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 they're not dead. No, Regina. no, no. They're not dead, Regina. No. Tell me about the sun, Regina. Artificial gravity, leak off positive. Velocity instrumentation, now working. Data systems, activating. Sensors, repair and check. Meteorite screens, operational and on arrival. All output link ups completed, sir. Link up. You can see she actually has sunburn. She believes she's living on a planet in open air with sun, wind, trees. Mm -hmm. Something like deja vu. You know that feeling of, I've been here before. It's a common enough experience. No, it's deeper than that. And if it were classic regression, I could deal with it. She's convinced she's actually living another life. Her present life here on Alpha no longer seems to exist for her. Did you tell her we're in a new solar system? No. The only thing she relates to is this fantasy existence. And the most troublesome part of it for her is that she's in mourning. Mourning? She thinks both you and Alan Carter are dead. And why should this only happen to Regina? I mean, we all of us went through the same experience. I don't know. What I'm looking for is a connection between that experience and her condition. Well, now, it seems that we've been traveling faster than the speed of light, which means, of course, time might be affected. So, Regina might be living a past life, or perhaps even a future life, but feeling it now. Commander.
checked all this? It checks out. Computer confirms there are nine planets revolving around that sun. Aim long range scanner on the third planet. Kano? See what computer has to say about the third planet? Third planet. Distance from the sun, 93 million miles. Diameter, 7,926 miles. Axial rotation, 23 hours and 56 minutes. Third planet is the third planet of our solar system. Planet's name is Earth. Moon velocity easy. Moon going into Earth's orbit. Come in, Earth. Moon base Alpha calling Earth. Moon base Alpha calling Earth. Come in, Earth. We're not receiving you, Earth. Possibly you can hear me. Computer forecast that we shall re-enter Earth orbit in 45 hours. Gravitational forces compensating steadily. Shockwave conditions not expected. Great. We can take an eagle down for a look right now. But we're getting no response to our signal. Something's wrong. Oh, come on, come on. Let's cut the talking and get going. What is keeping the commander? We've guessed at all kinds of disasters. Mm -hmm. And we're still guessing. We can't calculate what might have happened to the Earth since the moon went out of orbit. Still no contact, commander. Keep trying, Paul. Open all frequencies and put the signal on automatic. Yes, sir. Victor? A space phenomenon we don't understand shifts us billions of light years across space. As incredible as that is, I accept it. But to put us precisely in the exact orbit we occupied around Earth, I know less and less about this universe, Victor. But that's got to be more than chance. Yes. There's a logic to it somewhere, John. There is some frame of order. We may make all sorts of blunders, wander off the path now and then, but ultimately, we belong where we belong, on Earth. I always peel. It's awful, isn't it? Oh, it's not bad. inside so much. You're getting better now. Yes. I think it's because he's come back. Who's come back? My husband. Your husband? Yes, Alan. It's been so long. Why have Alan and the commander been away so long? You've been ill and time gets all mixed up. But they are back now, aren't they? Now look, don't upset yourself. You want to get better, don't you? He is here, isn't he? Alan is here, isn't he? He is here. Yes, he is here. Why doesn't he come to see me? He will soon. You will ask him. He will come. Please ask him. All right. I'll bring him to see you. Once we're in orbit, you'll have plenty of time for reconnaissance. But if you go down there now, and if for any reason we don't go into Earth's orbit, We'll lose you, forever. But we are going into orbit. The computer confirms it. The computer? The computer can't even tell us why Earth doesn't answer our signals. Now, that's just another reason why we should go down there right now. No. Not until we're safely in orbit and have studied the situation down there. Alan Carter, please. Yep. Yeah. Could you come to the medical unit right away? Right, I'm on my way. Go ahead, Alan. Now, while you're down there, get something to cool the blood a little.
hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Ellen. She needed to see you, and I thought that shock might have a positive effect. Me? Why me? You're the shock. She thinks you're her husband. <sighs> I'll try to explain it as best as I understand it. Regina believes she's living in another place in some future time. Living in the future? Yes. Somehow she thinks of it as her past. This is her world. Anything, Paul? Nothing, sir. Commander, beyond normal radio and magnetic disturbance, there is no source of control signal, none at all. Signal or no signal, we can't delay telling the people on Alpha what the situation is. One thing we know, there have been some major geological changes on the Earth. To what extent? We'll soon find out. We're making a detailed radio map of the surface. Attention all sections Alpha. This is Commander John Koenig. The moon's velocity has stabilized and we're moving into a holding orbit around the planet Earth. We may shortly be activating the first phase of Operation Exodus, a reconnaissance probe of the Earth's surface. This is scheduled as soon as the moon is safely in Earth orbit. Earth orbit. Earth orbit. Earth orbit. Earth orbit. Ten seconds.
Regina, please give that to me. No. Alan, help me! Easy, Regina. No. Give me the gun. Earth's axis has moved between five and six degrees. That much? Climatic conditions totally different. Got the radio map ready for you. In Europe, there's a completely ice age climate. But here in North America, large areas of desert, as you can see, all these latitudes are just radioactive ash. What about cities? Uh, civilizations. Is there anything left of them? Well, but the only place that looks as if it might be able to support life is uh, this area here, a place called Santa Maria. Is there any indication of life? We just have to hope that some people made it. Commander Koenig, emergency, main mission. The scanners have just picked it up, sir. Let's see it close up. Seems we've found another moon. That sounds familiar. It should. It's our own navigation signal. Another moon base. Somehow we've caught up with ourselves. Alan, prepare for immediate liftoff. We're going to take a look at that moon. Right. Eagle looking great. Here go. tube and we'll have to walk.
situation. Operation Exodus. Uh, where to? I can guess. How did they... they die? Their eagle crashed on the moon about five years ago. They were both killed on impact. Five years ago? A space vacuum preserved their bodies. The rest of the Alphans could have made it to Santa Maria. If they're still alive. And I believe they are. I think that's what Regina was trying to tell us all along. Well, we'll soon find out. Why are you going down there, John? I'm about to activate the first phase of Operation Exodus. Wait, John. Helena, we can't wait any longer. Then please, consider this. You saw what happened to Regina as soon as we came into Earth's orbit. It's possible the closer we get to Earth and those other Alphans... Are the cells. What happened to Regina could happen to all of us. Big up, please. Run that through, please. Thank you. Faster. You've got to be joking. It is. And it's closing on us rapidly. If that other moon keeps up its present speed, we're going to collide with it. How long? 48 hours. 
it still gives us time for a close look. A phase one probe. You'll only have 10 hours on the surface. We need at least 24 for total evacuation. Paul, activate phase one immediately. John. We have no alternative. If we don't get off this moon, we'll all perish. Under the circumstances, only you and Alan Carter should go. Your other selves are dead. And if our people are to go down, the medical implications have to be studied. Like you, John. I have no alternative but to go. Eagle now in course for Santa Maria. ETA 2200 hours Earth time. Good luck, Alan. They are going home. And heading back into future time. It's an interesting thought. Signs of habitation below, sir. We know, Alan. We've seen it too. Looks great. Pick your spot and set her down. Well, looks kind of different out there. Good landing, Alan. All set? You've come back.
Hello. Paul. Commander Koenig. This is the Earth, but not the world we knew. It's an Earth where perhaps we never existed. Or perhaps we have yet to be born. But apart from us, it's empty now. A civilization once flourished here, another Atlantis, perhaps. There are relics of them everywhere. Where are the rest of the Alpha people? Oh, for economic reasons, we had to disperse. They're scattered in groups like ours all through the valley. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What frightened them? They've never seen a living ghost before. They don't understand. They look like fine kids. They are. Our finest achievement. Who's are they? Sandra's and Paul's. Yes, the children are our future. And as our situation improves, of course, there will be more. That's a tremendous challenge. To bring back life to a dead world. Yes. And it was not easy. It meant the total sacrifice of all our resources. Eagles, life support systems, fuel sources. That was why you couldn't contact us. Yes, we've had to use everything to make this place habitable. Well, it certainly seems to be working. Well, it was a choice. A decision that had to be made at the very beginning. If this community had failed, there could be no going back. I think it was a wise decision. You should know. You made it. There was a terrible phenomenon. Like comets fighting in the sky. Regina was affected by it. Six days later, she was dead. That was when we came into orbit. Now Regina died too. Both at the same time. Hardly a coincidence. I was expecting you. Come in, please. I had to see you to, to talk. Do you understand what's happening to us? All I know is that we were the same person once. Somehow, we became two different people. And now we're here in the same time. We have no alternative. We have to come down here. Seeing you was a shock for both of us. I accept it now. Did you know I married? Yes. You married John Koenig. There was so much to do, even after he died. Now that you're here, there's nothing more left for me. John Koenig is here with you, isn't he? Don't be frightened. My time here is finished. No. We could help each other. It's my own decision. You mustn't die. It's not death. It's returning to you, to myself, 
ran through you, finding all those I love, including John. Goodbye. after her, John. Commander Koenig, bring your people down here. And what happened to Regina, to Helena, will happen to all of us. We have no choice but to come down here. If we don't evacuate that moon, we'll all perish. You cannot do it, Commander. We have children, a future. We will not let you destroy it. We'll build in another place. We have exactly what you had to start with. Go back to your own place. There's nothing for any of you down here. Except destruction. Paul, there's no time to argue this out. Just give the word, Commander. It's our decision, not theirs. Wait. All of you. Paul is right. You cannot live here. Or anywhere on this planet. If you were to come here, there would be chaos and disaster. We know that Regina died when she confronted herself in her mind. Our Helena died when she confronted herself in the flesh. We are trapped in different times. But when those two moons collide, time will correct itself. Normality will return. There will be one moon, one community, one time. You must go back. Back to what? Sudden death? If you are not back on your own moon, when time does correct itself, you will have nowhere to die. John. Take us back. Our place and our time is on Alpha.
it's over. We are in different space. I wonder if the others made it. If they survived. Did they ever really exist? <laughs>